Um, interview, yes. Oh, get out of here, bro. <laughs> yes. I was surprised as I was going over your content, man. I was like, I was saying she do podcasts like me. I was like, well, why you want to be bothered with me? I do the same thing you do. It's not exactly the same thing. We just in the internet world on this on the show stuff, mm-hmm. but. I found your stuff to be very, I actually listened to a couple of them. I ain't gonna even lie, the same day I was listening to them. I was like, let me see what this girl's about, right? And then I didn't know if Sia was a short for your name. I didn't know it was actually Sia. Okay, so short of my name, my first name is Chelsea. Oh, uh, okay. C-H-E-L-S-I-A. So it is a I But I, I cut it in abbreviation like Sia, because... People screw it up. Yeah, people screw it up, and I love the nickname Sia, because I don't really like Chelsea. People like Chelsea. I'm like, ew, that's not my name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my name is Chelsea. Yeah. Who named your daddy, your mom? My dad. Okay, hey, hey, daddy, you know, that's dad, right? You know, that's my dad, that's my whole We ain't no dad shame, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, what what got you into podcasting, Seal? What did it start for you? What made you? Ooh, we finna go there. Okay, yeah. so what got me into podcasting was, I always felt like I had an outgoing personality. I was a social butterfly throughout high school, middle school. I was the girl that was so rambunctious, like, and I always had an opinion, like, and I stand on what I said is what I said. And I was always open to hearing other people's perspective. Even though I might not agree with you, right. I want to hear your way of thinking, your way of thinking to the point where you created the life that you created. Okay. So whatever you believe in, whatever you stand for, okay, let me hear it. Let me hear what you're about. And then you hear what I'm about, and we could put it into perspective and agree to disagree or right. to not agree, you know. Right, right. Hey, I have one personality, basically, right? What you're saying? I'm and very I'm, open-minded. No doubt, no doubt. And that's a rarity, too, in the world we live in. Everybody bump heads on the smallest of things. It's, it's, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what got you into it? Yes. Wanting to do it? Yes. And I always knew I was going to be on TV, because that's <laughs> yeah. the goal, to, even to motivational speak, like, to change lives. No doubt, no doubt. That's, that's what, what I'm going to do. Ultimately, all, hey, let me ask you. Mm-hmm. So... I noticed, I, saw, I heard somebody on one of your podcasts, another girl weighing in. So is it two of y'all or just yours? It's just me, but that's my podcast buddy. I'm going to shout her out. Time to vent. Okay, I love her. Me and her do a lot of um, organization stuff. We just did Nine Me, the National Alliance of Mental Health okay. Walk in Broward. Okay. And that was amazing with me and her. Like, I, ever since I met her, I just met her too. It was like a life changing thing because it's like God is aligning me with the people that's on the path like me. Right. So I'm just so proud that I met her. Right, right. I also saw that. Was that the event you went to where the white guy had uh, spoke? Uh, yeah, uh, the AIDS. Um, AIDS walk? Ooh. Okay, I got you. No problem. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I dropped my earring. It's a prop defect. It's uh, okay. But um, that was actually the AIDS Foundation mm-hmm. to talk about. Um, he has a center in um, Fort Lauderdale. Right. Near like Six Trunk area. And okay. you could come in and get testing for free. Everything from HIV, AIDS, to clit, ugh, chlamydia, mm-hmm. syphilis, everything. And he also gives out free medication if you do have it as well. Right. Plus, on top of that, say that day you found out that you was having sex with somebody, you woke up and you're like, who is this? That day he could test you and give you the medication. Really? If you, to keep you negative. So I'm definitely going to do a podcast interview with him. No doubt. Just, and we're actually going to record us into the center showing the lab equipment that he tests you for all different STDs. You for should. Him. Great idea. Mm-hmm. Great and idea. he gives you preventatives as well, like condoms, female condoms, dental nails, everything. What's his name? Give him a shout um, out. Peter Galazzi for the AIDS Foundation, AHF. Straight up. That's your first time walking into the community? Side of activist type of thing, that's pretty much what it is, community. Right? I've been doing it since high school. I was a part of, um, what's it called, the Peace for Change for Peace with okay. kids, and also, um, I was also a part of WIC, Student okay. Involvement Community. We was always out there promoting mental health, promoting sexual education, promoting all of that, because, yeah, sex is great, but if you're not smart, no you don't know, like, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know if you're using the right preventers. You don't know. Right. So it's like, I've right. always been like, you know what, let me speak up, let me stand out. Amen. Yeah, so, to this day, how long you been doing this podcast thing? Podcast. It's been about two to three months. Two to three months. So mm-hmm. you, you're a newbie, in yeah. so many words. It's awesome, though. Man, you got great content. Thank you. You got great content, man. I'm going to tell you, I, was, I actually watched it, man. I listened to it. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm a podcast dude because I like listening to podcasts. But I'm a truck driver mm-hmm. by day, and uh, I like listening to podcasts and 
things that they, things that interest me, and, and some stuff that don't interest me because I, you know, I want to sharpen my brain as well, sharpen, learn different things of that nature. Um, let me ask you. Okay. Um, some of your topics, man. How do you determine what topics you're gonna speak on for that particular episode? I say I go off of my life. Like I also feel like I'm like a therapist, coach to my friends and mm -hmm. to me or stuff we see on TV, social media. Like when it came to the, uh, like I said, the ninety, the mental health. Okay. Right. Recently, my cousin. Let me use her as an example. Supposedly, she went missing. She actually ended up running away. She had battles with mental health issues. So I'm like, okay, I want to do, especially this episode coming up, I want to do something where it talks about mental health. I also battled with mental health issues when I was younger as well. And I want to show people that you can have it, but also you can fight through it. So that's why I was like, okay, let me talk about this. And then also with the testing and sexual education, I've had friends and I've been through situations where, okay, you don't know, you don't know this person, you don't, like, your health is at risk and now you're, you know, maybe I wasn't educated, maybe I wasn't smart enough and that was another episode. And then we also talked about dating and how it's like dating, like, I'm in my early 20s and how is it like dating as a single black woman. Also, my other friend, the girl that I told you about, she has a a baby and we talk about dating as single parents so it's just everyday life topics like we're t basically giving perspective and also giving advice to people that are dealing right. with this and or know how to do it the right way even if you don't want to follow my advice mm -hmm. hey you hear someone hey she's going through too just like me right you know? right how did you still clear of not having children at this age but normally kids uh don't live your age have children already like you spoke about your friend how do you still clear of that Wow, um, I can say, or what? <laughs> What's the story? No, um, more of my dad. Okay. Um, you know it's crazy. My dad actually wants me to have kids now, but mm -hmm. me and my sister, um, my sister's not my best friend. We always knew we wanted to be successful. Before yeah. I bring a child into this world, I want to be able to create generational wealth, and that's another thing that I'm going to talk about on my podcast as well. Good job. Um. I want to be successful. I see myself as, it's not even about the money, it's about freedom and also changing lives. Okay. Like, I want to do stuff in Haiti. I want to do stuff in all the islands where we give back and rebuild. Like, right. I don't want to bring my child into this world and they see, they have to start over like me. Right. I want them to be able to come into this world and they know, okay, my mom did this, that, and the third, so if she's powerful enough to do it, I can do it. Right, you know? right, right. Hey, man, that's important stuff you're speaking about, man. Basically help it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's to help it, man. That's that's that. For me, I'm I'm like you as far as that goes, because I'm all about, all about building up and not tearing down, man, and motivating. I want to backtrack a few minutes ago. You say you struggled with uh, mental health mm -hmm. when you was younger. Um, do you believe in medication as far as treating that, do you, or do you believe in that that you can? I know a lot of people go to the, the mm -hmm. Lord for certain things, but listen, I'm gonna believe by the Lord and everything else. But I know, and I know He can help. A fix situations, but see, my wife struggled with it as well. So, of course. I, I I ain't really gone on the medication side of it, I, but I know it's it really needed in some areas of the mental health thing. Mm -hmm. But I just think that what what else we do, man? We pray about it, you know, maybe a little medication, but I think medication is a temporary fix. You know what I mean? I don't think it really corrects the problem for me. No, no, no. I, I agree with you. I see your point of view. Um, I think medication is a certain extent. Even going to God is a certain extent. Right. Um, I'm all for reaching out to help, for help. If you know you're battling with something, and maybe you can't go to your friends, maybe you can't go to a family member, go farther, seek maybe therapy. I know in high schools and middle schools, they have a guidance counselor to sit and talk to. Right. Now, as for adults, I know COVID, um, they have apps like Better Health or any other type of just way to communicate. There's also like groups out there like through Clubhouse, right. through um, Facebook groups right. that have mental health where you could sit and talk to people. Like, you're not alone. Right. I don't want people to ever feel like they're alone. Like, that's not, right. that's not, I think we all should, even though everyone has their way of life, 
we should always show love and positivity. I agree. I agree. It seems like lately the suicide has been going up in mental health. Definitely. Especially through COVID because people are trapped in the house and they're trapped in dealing with who they really are. Right. So right. that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah. I was naive about it. You know, when you, when you feel like your brain runs, even if I have a glitch here and there, but I don't, I wouldn't call it a mental issue. Even if I have a glitch here that I get mad because they didn't put rings on my sandwich and got to walk back in there. <laughs> Man, don't do that shit no more. <laughs> Well, I hate to get out my fat ass out of the car, come in and argue about some onions, but I do it. You know what I mean? But I, I, it was for me, man. I, I guess I was naive about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I didn't really understand it until my wife started to deal with it. Then I started to get a little closer to the fire mm -hmm. and start to, you know, tap in. You want to say this? To how we can fix this thing? Of course. You know, and support it, and you know. And, Always be there. That if even the people around you, even if you're dealing with it or someone that you know is dealing with it, be there for them. Don't judge them. Even if they made a mistake. Like, just learn how to be there. Like, not always throwing, that's why I said I'm open to listening. Shoot, God forbid, even if you murdered somebody. Right, right. Listen, be there. Because, look, if, like you said, you're a man of fake me too. Yes. You know how many people in the Bible? Yeah, struggle. People yeah, struggle, struggle with mental health? Yes. They did it, so yes. we could do it. We exactly. go through it too, you know. So. Shout out to Pastor Williams. He used to always say to, in service sometimes, he'll say things like, you know, um, ain't nothing new under the sun. I never really understood what he meant when he said that until I got a little older. And, mm -hmm. and, I, and I, the reason, the way I interpreted it was like, things that was going on back then, still going on right now. Yep. Just on another level. Mm -hmm. Basically, probably worse. Yeah, probably worse. You know what I mean? Now that we all know what it is that we're that we fighting some of these things, and we don't know all of it, but, you know, we, we still learning along the way. It's a journey, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a marathon, so many words, but. Um, where do I go from here, see ya? <laughs> Man, so you, talk, you was just talking about some of the episodes you got coming up. What mm -hmm. you got coming up? What, what should we expect? Okay, so I'm actually doing a magazine cover shoot with the Vogue of Miami for entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So they always shout out new up and upcoming people, so I'm doing that. I'm trying to get in contact with Naomi, the National Alliance of Mental Health, so I can sit with them. And they also have like a licensed therapist or a doctor that could talk about mental health. Because there's it's a really long spectrum. Right. Like people have bipolar depression, right. schizophrenic. Right. Like there's so many different disorders. We yeah. want to talk about it. And also spread light that not just one race of people have deal with mental health. Black people... Yeah. Asian people, right. white, like white people, it don't matter what race you are, like right. we should address it, you know, like especially in the, because you know I'm Caribbean, they don't believe, they don't believe, like if you say mom I have a mental health, they're not going to listen, and I want to spread light to that, like in the, especially in the Caribbean communities, right. mental health is an issue, we right. have to address it. A lot of the older folks back in my generation thought you could just pray it away. Pray Jesus. Yeah, yeah. like it'll fix it. Like, and I ain't saying he can't, but I just think that mm -hmm. it's, it's bigger, not bigger than God, but just big. It's it, it's something that needs to be addressed in counseling and whatever whatever methods we need to go to to uh, correct it or try to slow it down or try to curb it or whatever. Of course. We do know that uh, this stuff is real. You know? Yeah. See your soul. Let me ask you, how many episodes you got up today? I have a, about, well, with bonuses, about 11, 10, 11. Okay, okay. Well, we're going to definitely try to drive people your way, man, through our Thank show. Thank you. Definitely. Chop up our support. Oh, we got a little voice up, voice with seal. Voice up. Voice up, excuse me. Sixth grade education. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But um, voice up with seal. Mm -hmm. I'll tap in, man. It's a dope chick right here, man. We support what you got going on, man. Life lessons, man. Building and, and networking and all that cool stuff. Of course, and financial, y'all. Yes. Coming with y'all okay. with that one. Okay. I want to. Could you give us a little brief thing on the financial thing? Um, I have a friend. He's a DJ, but he also transitioned into doing um, selling, like helping with your taxes. And we talked about. He's one. I want him to come on the episode to talk about how to create generational wealth and also how schools doesn't teach you how to finance your money. So they don't teach you about credit. Right. They don't teach you about buying a home, right. loans, anything. Right. They teach you how to get loans to go to college. Mm -hmm. But they don't teach you how to be financially stable in right. America. I personally believe, for me, not 
nothing towards anybody, but I never saw myself working for people for 40 years. I personally feel like it's not even slavery. Um, my dad right now, he's a freelance. He does life insurance. Okay. And uh, if you saw it in my car, I saw it. I was mad. I want to ask you about yeah. it because I, I thought it was actually promoting your podcast. That's oh, yeah, it's going to be on there soon. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, right yeah. now I'm promoting my dad. He sells life insurance. Beautiful. And we're just, like I said, creating generational wealth. That's what it's about. What's the gentleman name you just spoke about? Um, the my dad. Or no, the, the uh, gentleman with the like, uh, the gentleman that's uh, the Texas. DJ. DJ Ash. DJ Ash. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you, Ash. Just chill. Woke up with my mm -hmm. hips all. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to you, brother. <laughs> hey, see you, man. I, man, again, I thank you for coming through and blessing me with your time. Thank you. I know people got busy schedules and things of that nature, so you know, just the fact that you decided to come through and chop it up with that man, it's thank a you. blessing. You're very much welcome. Tell the people how they can find you, Sia. Hi, guys. So you can find me, Voice Up with Sia. Um, it's on Facebook, on Instagram, on every social media platform. You click in the link tree link, it'll have everything like to find me. Okay, you guys? Voice Up with Sia. So you cut, you cut your hair on this bitch, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need this wig. This is all. Oh, <laughs> pretty girl, man. Thank Ain't you. Ain't many girls can get away with it. I'm going to tell you that. Right now, and I, and I said it. That's what it is. I'm Fat Man. It's the Chop Up Power. I got the voice with Sia in the building. Y'all fuck with me. Tap in, like, and share, man. Go subscribe, man. Y'all can find us on all major platforms. Voice up with Sia. She came through the Chop It Up with Fat Man at the Chop Up Hour. We out, yo.